Hello! This is going to be like a little chit chatty update kind of video. This is my 37, almost 38 week update. We have just come back. Look at that belly. Baby girl has totally dropped this like space here now. Feeling loads of pressure. Um, and I feel like she's gonna come soon. We just got back from a lovely walk and like a homeschool meetup, which I really did not have the energy for. I was feeling very like mad at the world this morning and just feeling very like, oh, I don't really have the energy for this. I feel very pregnant at this point, but equally we'll go through bouts in the day where I'm just like busy and just like going for it and doing all the things on that never ending list of pre-baby stuff. And then I will like crash into something with my big old belly and be like, oh, you're pregnant. That's why you're so huffy and puffy. Or that's why you need to sit down more. My appetite has also been like non-existent. I feel like I'm just all full of baby. I'm really like breathless. I have been really having awful dreams recently as well. Like real, you know, it's like bright, fresh pregnancy dreams where you wake up and you're just like, oh my gosh, was that real life? That was horrific. Um, I think as well, I had this beautiful appointment yesterday with my midwife and she was just, I was just like, I feel like baby's dropped. What do you think? And she had a little fill on my belly and she was like, I think you're going to have your baby sooner rather than later. And so with the last two births, I've had the same midwife and it's just been lovely to have that continuity of care. She very much knows that she's just coming to hang out and watch me catch my baby and be there as a just in case measure. And it's really lovely to just know that she gets that. Uh, however, this particular midwife is on Holly Bob's. She's on her holidays off in Croatia for the next two weeks. And so when I had this appointment yesterday, it was with like the domiciliary officer, which is like the person who just makes sure you're still like gung-ho and all good on, a, on the piece of paper for a HSC home birth, which is like the home birth scheme for the national healthcare system. So a free home birth. <laughs> and so she had a little feel in my belly and she was like, I think you're gonna have your baby before your midwife gets back. So that kind of has thrown me. It's thrown me a lot because I was very much like, okay, I know that I'm not gonna get the list done. I know that it's not gonna be perfect. I know that there are gonna be things that will always feel undone or that I'm not quite ready for. But if my body is ready, my baby is ready, it's fine. Whereas I think not knowing who would be at my birth or if there is any backup whatsoever, because I need to inquire about that properly, <laughs> and I only found out yesterday, has really thrown me. And much as that person is gonna be there just as a just in case measure, and it's gonna be, you know, me and my husband, I feel like it's made me a little bit more panicky. So Long story short, I would love to go another couple of days. I feel like she has dropped. I feel loads of pressure. Definitely, I have. I was at a birth like three three days ago now. And I was like feeling some niggly, like crampy period, like pains. And was like, oh, please let this mama's baby come first. Which it did. She had the most beautiful birth, which has made me even more excited to give birth again myself. Side note, if you haven't watched any of my previous birth stories, I'm like one of these weird people who loves giving birth, like I cannot wait to give birth. I'm so excited for the whole experience. I'm so excited to labor. I'm so excited to catch my baby. I'm so excited to do the whole thing. And then I also love like the postpartum period. And I'm really just excited to meet my baby. But I've been having those kind of feelings on and off. And really now I'm like, oh, okay. I would like another week, which is of course like, you can't plan it. You don't know when your baby's going to come. But if I had another week to just finalize some work things, there's some filming that I had planned to do on Saturday. Today is only Tuesday. <laughs> and my friend is also coming up on Saturday from West Cork. And we're gonna do my mother's blessing on Sunday. So it's quite possible 
that I will get none of those things done. It's quite possible I will get some of those things done. This morning I woke up really like gung-ho and like had this like list in front of me and I was like, okay, we're gonna do all the things. And it was just one of those mornings where none of the things worked out as planned. The boys just needed me that little bit more and I'm trying to really lean into giving them as much time as I can. And I was just not gonna get any of the things done and that is so okay. But I'm, it's now the afternoon. We've had a beautiful morning outside. I went for a nice walk or a waddle at this stage in pregnancy. I'd say it's definitely a waddle. Feeling loads of like pressure down below. So yeah, it was slow. Uh, but the boys have gotten some like connection time. Archer's upstairs napping. Atticus is outside with his daddy. And I'm gonna sit down and just gather my space. So I'm currently in the sitting room, surrounded by stuff, like birth related stuff, home birth stuff. So. We've already done a like dry pool trial to see if the birth pool has any like holes or tears or anything. So we're gonna double check in on that. I want to draw out some affirmations, hang those up, get some fairy lights out, and then show you what is in my home birth kit. So as a like third time pro at this point, I want, to, I mean, I attend home births all of the time as a birth worker. So I thought that I would show you what is in my home birth kit. And then also I want to go through with you my birth plans, which I think could be good fun. So if you are curious <laughs> about what my birth plan is, my plans A, B, C, and D, and how I approach birth, how I prepare for birth, keep your eyes open because that's gonna be a separate video. But for now, from my possible last bump picture, 37 weeks and three days, three days, four days, I think. This is me. <laughs> <laughs> 